Hey guys, it's Christina here and I thought I would film a video where I talk to you about the COVID vaccine and my own experience with it, what I did to prep, what I did post-vaccine, what I did during the process of the vaccine, how I felt days later, the day after, weeks later, because it's been a few weeks now. So I thought I'd give it to you straight and not kind of sugarcoat it. So I have it on my laptop, a few notes. So if I look down, that's why. So where is it? So let's first, before we get into my experience, I want to talk about my views on vaccines in general because there is definitely this stigma with anti-vaxxers, vaxxers, like pro-vaxxers I guess. I don't know what people that get vaccines are called. I think just people that don't get vaccines are called anti-vaxxers. So first of all, I am pro-vaccine, if that makes sense. Like, I am definitely pro-vaccine. This comes from my own medical history, my own personal belief, and the fact that I've educated myself enough to trust vaccines, and I grew up with medical professionals in my life. My brother is going to be a doctor, so he's in school studying to be a doctor. My dad's a former scientist and science teacher. My mom is a clinical lab tech or clinical lab scientist as they're called and that's what I go to school for. So yeah, I've educated myself on this topic for a long time, especially since even before COVID there was these anti-vaccine sort of conversations about people that were anti-vaccine and I just wanted to come on here and say that if you are an anti-vaxxer or if you are kind of hesitant about getting the vaccine, do your research because a lot of these anti-vaxxers do not even know what they're saying. They do not even know how vaccines work and it is clear when they try to persuade people into believing what they believe and I just want to say like yes there are side effects with every vaccine. That's just how every single treatment in the world works there are going to be side effects not everyone experiences them so please do your research and educate yourselves and if you are an anti-vaxxer i all i have to say is do your research and maybe if you sounded more education like educated and more knowledgeable maybe people would take you seriously or be like oh maybe they have a point with something but at this point they don't because there's no scientific substance to what is coming out when it comes to anti-vaxxers sharing their opinions so yeah that's what i wanted to put out there also when you are doing your research into vaccines look into what other people are experiencing look into how vaccines are made the research that comes out there are a lot of research especially with covid vaccines that have come out and there are information on the internet that you can find where it's more detailed it's there in front of you written out and i will link a couple of links that i looked at for vaccines as well as a vaccine finder i think this one is just for new york state so yeah now off of that rant and on to how i prepped myself for the vaccine now i took a while i was the last one in my family in the house to get the vaccine because i again did my research into the vaccine and for all those anti-vaxxers like oh she didn't want to get it blah, blah, blah. i wanted to get the vaccine but there are medical things medical history my medical background that i was hesitant to take what was out there just yet and i ended up taking moderna after doing a bunch of research after waiting weeks everyone in my house took moderna except for my little brother he took johnson and johnson because at his university they offered it to all the students so it's one vaccine it didn't affect him after like the first day like he had a fever and it lasted for 24 hours and that was it and he's good to go <laughs> but um yeah i would say just before you take your vaccine drink lots of water that is so important not just with covid vaccines but with every vaccine you want to stay hydrated you want your body to feel hydrated because you're gonna get dehydrated from vaccines because you have no idea what your body will how like how your body will react to it so it's important to at least stay hydrated so passing out from it is not a possibility 
So next thing, you want to eat before taking your vaccine. You want your body to feel the fuel. You want to fuel up before you go and take your vaccine. I don't eat a lot of breakfast. Like I don't eat a very big breakfast. I have a packet of oatmeal and a banana and green tea. That's literally what my breakfast is every single day. It hasn't changed and my body feels really energized enough. So I stick to that and I even had that the day that I took my vaccine. Now on to the actual experience of taking my vaccine and the side effects of each dose. Now Moderna has two doses and yes you take this vaccine every year now. It is just like the flu shot. It is nothing different from the flu shot in the sense of you having to take it every year. I saw a lot of complaints when people were hearing that they had to take it every year. If you're a, if you're someone who takes a vaccine every year, if you take the flu shot, it's just like taking the flu shot. There's no complaining. It saves your life. Vaccines save your life, okay? Okay. Now, when I took my first dose, I felt very strange. I don't know if it was the placebo of the fact that it was my first dose, but I did feel very strange after. I can't really explain it in terms of like words to explain it, but I felt very, I felt like my body was reacting to it right away. Put it that way. I did not move for 15 minutes once I got back in the car and we were driving for like 15 minutes because we were going shopping after. Now, you are going to feel sore in that spot again if you had the flu vaccine you know what i'm talking about okay the flu vaccine you still get sore just like the covid vaccine okay i compare it to the flu vaccine because the flu vaccine is you have to get two sometimes people get it at the same time like same day but you get two doses is what i'm trying to get at and you take it every year so my arm was sore for three days it wasn't as like very very like sore like i couldn't move my arm like a lot of people like my mom experienced that i think because mainly she worked in the hospital so her body and she was like one of the first groups of people to get it in the first place so i think that's why her reaction was so drastic compared to like my dad and my brothers and i and it was sore for about three days I was fine working out on the third day didn't like after the third day now for my girls out there if you're a guy you can go to this timestamp because we're gonna talk menstrual cycle because oh my god if you're a girl and you took this vaccine you know what I'm getting at or maybe you don't <laughs> but if you took this vaccine your period hurt that first day okay your period hurt so bad and this is coming from someone who i've had my periods for a very long time like almost two decades and i can tell you like it is a lot it is a lot i got my period very young and i can tell you that it is a lot okay it is very very painful and i know i'm probably scaring a lot of people who haven't taken it a lot of females especially but it is totally worth it in the end you know the first day is like the worst pain ever and then like for me the second and third day, I didn't feel any pain from cramps. I don't know if it's because my arm was hurting more. I don't know what it was. Like, my arm was hurting the same amount, but I feel like my arm just took over the pain or something. Also, this happened to me. It didn't happen to anyone else, but I just want to put it out there in case anyone's like, oh my god, is this so weird? Am I the only one who dealt with this? I personally got my period four days early compared to, like, my, like, my cycle. And so it was very weird to me, but yeah, I think the cramps were the worst part of it all, if I'm being honest, for both doses. And that takes me right into dose number two. Dose number two kicked into high gear because it gave you the antibodies. I think that's how it was. So dose number two was worse for me. I had a bigger reaction to it. Now, I had a fever for about three days without even knowing it on the first day because my body was shaking uncontrollably and it was so weird to me because I wasn't feeling cold. I was just shaking and sweating at the same time, but I didn't feel freezing cold. Like I had my AC on and everything. And I know people are gonna be like, that's where you were like freaking out. Like I was sweating still, but I was shaking. My body was shaking. And then the second day is when I started feeling a little cold. And third day I was like recovering. I was getting back to normal. Now my cramps again were terrible, but it was only the first day. And I felt a little lightheaded for a few days, like about five days. I was able to work out, but I was so just like 
it took me longer to work out because I was taking more breaks. And if you know me, you know that fitness is like my everything. So I was like freaking out more about that than anything else. And the area where the shot was, was very stiff. A specific spot in my arm. Other than that, it was fine like after three days again. Now, when I took my shot, I drank a lot of electrolytes and I did a lot of those exercises. I'll put up a TikTok right here for you if you want to see it. But yeah, I did a lot of like those small exercises. My dad, who took it before me, he was like, oh, like when I went, because he's doing instruction for a place, I know he has like all these side projects, but um, he took his vaccine and then he went to go work on a house that he is working on for his like side project. And he was like, oh, like when I was like moving my arm, like after that day, I didn't feel anything. I was like, okay, well, I can't go lifting a hammer and hammering down somewhere. Like that's just not gonna happen. But um, I tried to do those exercises and those helped a lot. All right, so that is it for this video. It was a little longer than my usual videos, but I really wanted to film this because I didn't get to watch any real videos on what was going on. Um, I did more research prior to filming this video than before. Like I planned on doing this video since before I took my vaccine and I didn't see any videos online now there's so many I guess because more people are getting vaccinated now and I just wanted to put this out there I talked to my cousins about it and they were like super encouraging about it so I wanted to just come on here and share my experience for anyone hesitant anyone who is just not sure also if your family is not vaccinated or don't want to get the vaccine please tell them to get vaccinated because they need to protect themselves because guess what all those people that this is probably gonna trigger a lot of people i should put a trigger warning right now <laughs> um but a lot of people that are complaining that we can't get back to normal or that they have to wear masks are the same ones that don't want to get the vaccine so yeah you guys are causing problems for yourself because i can go places without my mask obviously i still wear it because i don't trust people but that's just my own personal thing there are other people that think the same as me i just want to put that out there please get vaccinated do not be stupid do not risk your health because you decide that your five brain cells are smarter than scientists okay okay yeah that probably triggered a lot of people but yeah anyways i'm gonna head out because i gotta go i'll see you guys soon bye